Y'all said y'all wanted to get into some more spooky shit, so let's do it. What's good, what's good in the YouTube hood? For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel because you're gonna love it over here. And once we're locked in, ain't no switching up, period. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Luna Nova and I am a hoodoo spiritualist and tarot reader. And today we are going to get into another compilation of spooky and paranormal videos from the spooky side of TikTok. As y'all can see, I am not in my normal setup. It is a very, very plain background and that is because I am moving. I am moving, so please bear with me. All right, guys, I am doing my best to push out these videos as consistently as I can in between working placing these orders and doing readings with you guys all right because I have interacted and connected with so many of you guys and I greatly appreciate you all for being there so again continue to show love to my Etsy shop continue to show love to my other social media pages my Twitter and my Instagram and just again lock in because we're going down the rabbit hole and there's a lot more all right we've barely scratched the surface I hope we got our drink I hope we have our snacks because like I said this one is going to be a longer video all right I have a plethora of videos i don't even know how many i have okay i'm gonna count them and put right here <laughs> once i figure that out but i just know i have a decent compilation of videos like i said in the beginning of this one that we are going to get into now this first video that we're gonna go ahead and get into is from a creator named marco j williams all right i follow him on instagram and on tiktok and he's amazing and he is explaining about how he had a very nostalgic dream this reoccurring dream not only made him understand what we perceive to be time, but it also opened his eyes to some of the spiritual gifts that he has. Me a ghost story that sounds completely unbelievable, but is entirely true. I used to think my grandmother's house was haunted. When I was younger, my cousin and I would always go to Pittsburgh to visit my grandma's house in the summertime. Now my grandma had this room called the doll room. It was filled with all the porcelain dolls she collected because she said they'd be worth some money in the future. Now this room creeped me out. I never wanted to sleep in it. So my cousin and I always slept in a room down the hallway from it. I remember one night we were watching this Disney Channel show called So Weird. If you remember this show, you had an amazing childhood. This was an OG lineup. We had the Jersey, the famous Jet Jackson, and So Weird. But I digress. There was this one episode of So Weird on that creeped me out to the point where I wanted to go to the bathroom, but I was scared that something was in the hallway. And I was right. When I finally mustered up the courage to go to the bathroom, there was this shadowy figure standing right next to the doll room. I ended up running back into the bedroom and hid under the covers because you know that always protects us. Now fast forward to 2020, I had this very surreal dream that took me back to that night. Only this time, I was standing at the other end of the hallway next to the doll room looking at my younger self run into the bathroom and back into the other room. And then I woke up. This dream made me realize that I was my own ghost. And time does not move the way that we think and I had the ability to astral project. Now, I've never had an encounter like this through a dream, but as a child, I definitely got stuck in a portal and astral projected somehow, some way, and wandered up somewhere, somewhere in the further. But I, I made it back, as you can see. If y'all want a video about that, let me know. Now, what would you do if you happen to be walking past a window or a glass door and you happen to notice that the house or the apartment that is adjacent to you, you know that it's been vacant for a while, but all of a sudden you see someone standing in the window. Now, I don't know what it is about kitchens and paranormal activity, but that seems to be the congregation spot for the spirits at night. In this next video, we are going to watch something playing with the drawers and the original poster definitely recognizes that something is going on and goes to check it out. Baby girl says she wants no parts of it and got up out of there. I don't blame her. But then again, I'm one to square up with a spirit. If I feel like you shouldn't be there and you put no fear in my heart, baby, be gone. I'm gonna banish you immediately. Now this next video wasn't quite spooky, but it was definitely interesting. So I thought it'd be interesting to throw into the compilation. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of walking trees, but apparently trees move on their own. Apparently this is a regular thing that happens and people have several recordings and sightings of experiencing seeing trees physically move from one spot 
to another. And in this next video, you are going to clearly see trees moving on their own. Now, I don't know about y'all, something that is supposed to be rooted into the ground should not be moving on its own. What do y'all think though? Look at this tree. It kind of looks like it's walking away on its own. So someone sent me this video of a potential skinwalker in the woods and wait till you see this next part because it's so much worse. Watch this tree right in the middle. Watch, wait for it. Like, it looks like it's just walking away. That's a little bit better. It's starting to get a little bit dark in my place so I had to turn on the lights so you can see your girl a little bit better. But we're gonna go ahead and get into this next video. The original poster is showing her hair being lifted up by something. Clearly not her because she's not touching it, but something is holding her hair up. Now I have definitely seen some paranormal videos where spirits like to, for whatever reason, create this static-like effect with hair, where it will kind of hold little random pieces of hair up in the air or tugs on random pieces of hair on people that happen to walk by or interact with the spirit and in this next video we are going to clearly see some type of spirit holding up <laughs> a single piece of the creator's hair not really i mean she's not spooked out by it obviously she's kind of just like playing around with it like ah this is weird but girl you might want to be a, a little more cautious about who you just let them play with your hair in the physical or the spiritual your hair is an antenna and it creates an extension of you so you got to be careful with those things but what do y'all think for this next video was probably one of the spookiest ones that I picked out out of this compilation and I say that because it happens so clearly there is no denying it I don't care who you are I don't care what your religious background is there is no denying that something clearly pulls the covers back while this woman is chilling in bed I mean big kicking it she's not thinking about nothing she's scrolling on her phone not thinking about anything when all of a sudden something clearly peels back the covers to try to snuggle it next to her. I don't know about y'all, but I don't cuddle with ghosts. Maybe this one was a friendly one and just wanted some cuddles, but um, no, no ma'am, no ham, no turkey. No, I'm not doing it. Now, in our last compilation of spooky videos, we definitely talked about shadow spirits or the high behind spirits. And in this next video, it is definitely clear that one of these little things is hiding behind a doorway and clearly trying to peek around it and not be seen. But it's seen very clearly. It's definitely trying not to be seen, but I see it. Do y'all? At least I know I'm not crazy because there's definitely somebody standing right there. Tell me I'm fucking not nuts. 
and now they're back. You see it? Tell me I'm fucking crazy. That is the creepiest shit I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely not. There are two specific places that people do not like to go, and that is because people die there, unfortunately, and there are active spirits there. And those places would be hospitals and cemeteries. And in this next video, we are going to get into three nurses that decide to go and visit a haunted floor of the ER. Let's just say something was definitely active in that room with those nurses. I see it clear as day. Something falls onto the floor as if someone threw it, but there's nobody in the room but those three nurses. You guys, haunted ER? I'm gonna go do Oh my God, my head is huge. It's Chloe, so I can't even, are you nervous? It did, it moved, no, 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 it moved, it moved, yes it did, it did. How do you not see that? Oh, okay! I'm telling you, knees would have been to chest that day. I'm getting the hell up out of there because I don't know what I'm playing with. And I don't think they should be playing with it either. Why would you go to the haunted section of the ER when you know it's haunted? If you are not prepared to interact with spirits, don't go looking for them. You know what they say, be careful what you go looking for because you just might find it. Clearly they found it that day. Hey, me.
Bowl of hot sauce, or say something embarrassing. Um, Bowl of the bear, just me. What? <gasps> oh, oh my! Can you shut the door? I'm really lazy. Thank you. Y'all have been following my poker diaries here lately. Um, so I'm pretty sure there's something standing in the doorway to the break room. Am I crazy or is that somebody standing there? Um, I don't, y'all see that. Yeah, but look, it's come up with chat. I'm not going to sit here. I have things thrown at me. If you're there, please show yourself. It's thrown at me! It's a normal weekend night. You're at home, you're chilling with your friends, kicking it, not thinking about anything. When you hear clear as day footsteps above your head when you know that nobody's upstairs. The police get called out, the police do their investigation and nothing comes back. But yet you still hear footsteps. That is what this next creator is showing us in this video. And y'all, I don't know about you, but I think I see something in this video. I'm not quite sure. I know my four eyes don't always work very well, but I think I see something in this video. Let me know what y'all see in the comments. 
Did uh Mom, mom, no! There's we have a video where there's a flashing light. I know it's loud. Hold on, hold on. Go back up. Let's just wait up here for the cops. And then when they're here, we'll go back down. Now we all know during the witching hours, the veil is thin and those spirits are very active. And sometimes they like to come out and play. Now, I don't think this was a very malicious spirit. Clearly it's just trying to shake them up a bit, but it's not trying to cause any harm. But then again, I'm cool with spirits. As long as you're not bothering me, I'm not gonna bother you. But if you become a disturbance, maybe you gotta go. You got to go. Now, this next video is definitely spooky and I included it because I don't know what I'm looking at. The people are moving very odd. Their heads are moving very fast, turning very quickly. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it looks very creepy. What would you do if you were walking outside and you happen to look through your neighbor's window just because it's open? Not because you're trying to snoop and be nosy, but just because it happens to be open and the lights are on in their home. And you see this next thing. I'm going for a walk and I look up and I see my neighbors. I don't know about you guys, but I'd be ready to move expeditiously because whatever they got going on over there is too active for me. And I don't want it coming anywhere near me. I rebuke it. Now with this next creator being a regular content creator, he catches a lot of things on camera regularly. That's what we do as content creators, whether it's heartwarming, whether it's sad, whether it's anything in between, we catch a lot of genuine and real raw moments on camera. And that's definitely something that this next creator caught on film. He is going to show us two videos of some paranormal things that go down in his home while he's in the middle of trying to create content for his YouTube channel. Jerry Bruce is a father who loves spending time with his children. If you hop over to his channel, you'll find that most of his videos have a wholesome quality to them. However, out of all the videos on there, two in particular stand out from the rest. These two videos are different in that they show something that doesn't fit with the family-friendly content of this channel. If anything, they seem to have come from a horror movie, one that is based on a family terrorized by paranormal activity. As it turns out though, that's exactly the case here. Jerry has been encountering strange occurrences in his home that seem to be paranormal in nature. On May 26 of 2009, he is suddenly woken up by a strange noise inside his living room. He immediately grabs his phone and begins to record. Jerry writes, I have never seen anything like this. My wife and I were awakened by the sound of a door closing. This video is all I got before me and my family left the house. This is what he caught. Strangely, the handle on the other side of the door is being turned as though someone inside were doing this. But, as shown in the video, no one is in there. 
An encounter like this would definitely spook anyone. But then again, there are some who might write this off as being caused by a draft entering the handle's lock. Although it isn't sure if that's the case, it's the second video that seemingly dispels this notion. On July 11 of 2009, Jerry's recording his son when all of a sudden, something really creepy happens. Take a look. The same closet from the first video can be seen opening on its own. Then, seconds later, a toy flips over by itself. It almost seems like whatever had been inside had tripped over this toy in its attempt to get to the child. It is immediately then that he grabs his son and rushes out of the living room at once. Understandably, Jerry was totally spooked. Viewers believe that he might be dealing with something paranormal. but. As with most videos, it's hard to be sure if that's so. Could it be that a supernatural presence resides in Jerry's closet? Or is something else going on here? You be the judge. I don't think that ghost like children. Not very much. Because the way that that ghost bust open the door and knocked over the baby's toy, he wasn't playing no games with that little boy. He wanted him up out of there. Now we have all had moments when we are at home by ourselves and a little paranoid. We've all had those moments. This next creator, she's not paranoid. She definitely is experiencing something. She's lying in bed and she notices that she hears the door open as if her partner has just come home. That's what she's expecting. She's expecting him to come through the door. It's late hours, he's gotten off work and she's anticipating him coming home. But when she notices there's a little bit too long of a pause in between hearing the door open and no one coming through. She starts to get spooked and goes to investigate. Perhaps thinking that Damien had come home from work early, she waits for him to appear. But seconds pass, and no one is seen. Damien isn't there. Understandably, Crystal was shaken up, but it seems that this incident wasn't as scary to Crystal as the most recent occurrence. Because if you think you're gonna just be sliding through my house whenever you feel like it, opening and closing doors, you might have to pay some bills around here because you're not gonna be running through my shit not paying bills. I don't think so. I don't know what's up with these ghosts being real territorial over homes and land, but baby, when they say they're not going anywhere, they mean it. They will show you they're not going anywhere. They will do anything to let you know you got to go before they do. And in this next video, the original poster definitely fuck around and found out that day. Her and her mother and her baby. The poor little baby was involved too. That ghost said, I don't care. You and them kids got to go. You and them snot those kids gotta go. Get them up out of here. I don't want no bugs on the walls. Clean it before you go. I know, I know. I can't wait for him to get it. Just touch it, like, go. Come 
Now, when it comes to ATR folklore and Caribbean folklore, or just living in the mountains in general, it's a general rule of thumb that if you hear something in the woods, no, you didn't. If you thought you saw something, no, you didn't. I'll probably have to make a part three to my ATR and Appalachian Mountain folklore encounters because I could definitely keep going down the rabbit hole with that one because there are several examples of why you do not whistle. You do not look out into the woods. Why, if you think you hear something, no, you don't. If you hear something, call your name. No, you don't. You don't answer it. There's reasons for this. In this next video, we are going to get into the original poster getting ready to go home when he hears loud screaming from what sounds like a woman in the restrooms. But when the man goes to approach the restrooms, nobody's there. This man was walking back from fishing when he captured this on video. Yo, what the? Bro. There's nobody in here. Yo. <laughs> There's a reason why you mind your business because you will fuck around and find out. These trickster spirits and these more malicious spirits will do anything to try to get you. I don't know what y'all don't understand about that. And they, there are more trickster spirits than you think. These trickster spirits are very tricky. All right, they're tricky. They will do anything. They will sound like your cousin. They will sound like your mom. They will sound like your favorite high school teacher. They will sound like anybody to trick you. And if you are someone who is a true humanitarian like me, something like that, when I was in my more unexperienced years, would have got me. All right, it would have got me because I protect women and children with my life. I protect people in general with my life because I don't like to see anybody be harmed. So hearing something like that would have definitely sent me and I would have ran up in there, not knowing what I would have run into. Again, that would have been me in my younger years. Don't let that be you. If you think you hear something, no, you didn't. Now we all know that children and animals have a very strong connection to the supernatural world. And that is because with children and animals, their perception has not been skewed. They are in their most purest form, especially when they are young. And in this next video, you can see the original creator's son is definitely pointing out Pawpaw in the video, someone that he recognizes. But where is Pawpaw? Cheese. 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 <laughs> what you doing? What you see? What? Bubba. What do you see? Hi. Uh uh. Who are you saying hi to? Who are you saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You're freaking me out. Come on. Now, in this next video, I want to know, and y'all can let me know down in the comments if you have ever seen or experienced anything like what we are about to go over next. Because I have never seen anything move this damn fast. I don't know what it was, but I clearly can see something. Like I said, I know sometimes these four eyes don't always work that well, but I clearly see something zoom past quickly in the video. But let me know what y'all think it is. In this next video, a grandmother is celebrating her birthday while being surrounded by friends and family, all of whom are singing happy birthday to her. Happy As the video plays out, it seems that this footage is nothing more than just a normal video of someone recording their grandma, or at least it seems like that. Because as you continue to watch, something happens that makes this video the stuff of nightmares. This is what was caught. As everyone collectively sings, a shadow-like figure bolts behind the grandma. In a swift motion, the figure is gone. 
It rushes over at full speed, but not so fast that we can't discern what this was. As viewers have noted, it kinda looks like a child, or a girl to be exact, who's running at an inhuman speed. Perhaps it was running so fast that no one had noticed it except the camera. Now this video becomes a whole lot creepier when reading the description it came with. As it states, the grandmother in this footage had a daughter who unfortunately passed away many years ago. When she was alive, she would often run around the house while playing with her older sibling. It's for this reason that she believes that this was her spirit. But as always, you be the judge on what was captured. Was a ghost caught on camera? Or had something else been caught? Me personally, I believe a lot of farms are haunted. Yep, you heard me. So if you reside on farmland, I think you might want to set up some cameras one day. Just, just for a little fun, you know, for a little spooky spooky, a little scare scare. Because you're probably going to find something. You're probably going to see something. And I say that because a lot of these farms, um, let's just be real, they, they are former plantations. There has been bloodshed. There has been horrible atrocities and things that have happened on those lands. And some of those spirits are still very active and angry. And in this next video, I think we are going to encounter one that is a little upset. Manny, Manny, Bo Benny. Manny. Manny. Hey. You really. Hey. What the fuck? Now, as I said before, two places where spirits are quite active are hospitals and graveyards. And in this next video, we see the original poster going to a graveyard to go visit a loved one with her daughter. And in the video, you can clearly see there is some type of shadow figure standing right behind her daughter. And the daughter notices it because immediately she feels something behind her and turns to slightly acknowledge it. But let me know what you guys see. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This is probably the second creepiest thing out of all of these videos that I found. And it's extremely creepy because what the hell is that red stuff? I don't want to say because I don't think it's what I think it is. It looks a little too thin if you know what I'm saying. Look, because I'm not going to get demonetized for saying it or insinuating it. But um, I don't know what it is. Y'all let me know if you have ever seen or experienced anything like this because I don't know what the hell it is and it's definitely creepy. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever watched any type of interview of actors that play in scary movies or TV shows and their experiences experiencing paranormal things on and off set. In this next video, we are going to get into one of the actors from The Conjuring who experiences some crazy unexplainable things after playing the role. On The Conjuring, that you got um, like physical stuff happened to you. The conjuring is, it's a, oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> what a lovely shot. I feel like I want to throw darts into my mouth or something. Um, but I, so I guess that's really selling <laughs> really the so fear. Intense. It is a fun acting challenge. Oh, it was amazing. But yeah, it was pretty, in, it was pretty intense. Some weird stuff happened on set along with the movie being scary. It's true. I developed this bizarre 
rare out of nowhere blood disorder um and basically my my body like all the red platelets from my body were like drained they were just like gone so i had like high risk of internal bleeding um and i was potentially gonna need like a blood transfusion it was so dramatic so i had to every day before work and after work go to the hospital get my blood taken and then all of a sudden i got home <laughs> and i've never had a problem with my blood since i cannot stress this enough whether you realize it or not when you are acting you are essentially channeling a energy or a spirit and sometimes you are going to encounter some of those things especially if you are again acting a certain role out you're going to encounter certain things because again you are channeling and bringing that spirit and energy to you and that's definitely what she experienced. You're playing the role of someone who experienced a haunting and you think that you're not gonna experience some things too? Again, if you are an actor and you are playing the role of someone who experienced a haunting, you have to understand you are probably going to start experiencing certain things yourself because you are channeling that energy. You're channeling what that person went through and you think that you're not going to experience some of those things. Don't be foolish. That is it for today. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. This one was not too long, but I just wanted to come back with some more spooky things for you all because you highly requested it in the comments. But again, if there's any other topics that you guys want me to go over, don't be shy. Don't be shy. This is a community. Leave it down in the comments and I will do my best to get to it or at least respond. But again, thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure that you hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel. All right. I appreciate you guys for being locked in with the kid. All right. I am finally being able to get monetized for these videos. So like I said, I absolutely love doing this for you guys but I love getting paid for it as well. So continue to show love to the channel. And if you guys can make sure that you support my Etsy shop as well. I have some great products and services that may be something that you could utilize in your spiritual and healing journey. But again, I greatly appreciate you guys for being here. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. But until next time, make sure you drink your water, mind your business and stay prayed up and protected. And as always, Luna loves you.